Hello and welcome to another progress update for the foundation. This week I was diving heavily into the personnel screen, but I just haven't been able to fully nail down a design that I like. I'm trying to get the flow of moving through the menus to feel right and it not fit, be cluttered with information but have everything you need. And I just didn't quite settle on a design that I was perfectly happy with. Hopefully next week I get that design nailed down and that will be able to be shown off. There was also a lot of design that went into the AI and in particular into some of the gameplay I'm going to show you here where I started working on being able to assign intercepts to the various transports that are flying around the map. If the AI wants to mess with you they're probably going to try and shoot down your transports or intercept uh, that, that anomalous cargo before it's able to get back to your base. And you probably want to do the same to some of the computers as well, intercept their cargo before they can get it back. So I started working into the logic of that and really diving into it. The code part of it got really tricky. I think the design's pretty good now, but the code was quite a bit of work this week and gave me a lot of annoying uh, issues. Still got a lot of things done and it's very visual stuff, so maybe it'll be exciting to see. So I placed down my base. Let's run some time by, boom, right off the bat, that's good. Alright, so here we have an enemy transport plane. It's taken off, it's trying to go to an event. We haven't even seen the event yet, so we don't even know. Now when you click on this, you can see here that it comes up with a prompt and it tells us what we know about the craft. Now right now, things are pretty omniscient. I haven't put in all the detection code yet, so for example, you guaranteed know that this is a Chaos Insurgency uh, transport plane. In the future though, that could be unknown. It might even show up as civilian. I'm hoping to have a few different civilian crafts that can go around that are government crafts. And so if you're not careful, you might end up making some enemies. So you can't just jump on everything. <clears throat> so here, this one, we know it's a Chaos Insurgency transport. We don't know what it's carrying. And most likely, you won't know what they're carrying unless you have infiltrated their organization well enough that you get insight into their transports, because radar doesn't generally tell you what's inside the craft. However, certain higher-up technologies may give you information on what it's carrying as well. So there's several different options here. Obviously, I can ignore it and let it continue on its way. Uh, there's also destroy and threaten. Destroy involves sending a fighter plane out to engage the ship, trying to shoot it down. This effectively stops that operation that they were doing. However, depending on the cargo, that can have various side effects, plus you don't get the cargo. The second option there is threaten, which means that you can send your planes to try and uh, order the plane to divert to your base. It can respond in one of three different ways. Either it'll ignore you and keep going, whereon you can s select it and tell your plane to destroy it instead if you wish. It may decide to make an emergency landing to avoid you, and in that case you can send an intercept out to um, send an MTF team out to engage the transport on the ground and take control of the contents. Or, if you're plane is threatening enough and they don't feel safe, there's a chance that they might agree to your demands and divert and come to your base. Whereon, depending on the contents, you may have to either deal with those contents, deal with the troops on board. There's a variety of situations that could end up there. But that's the uh, basic idea with how threaten will work. That's not implemented yet. The destroy section was a real pain to get all the different pieces working and I'm still working on all the various pieces. However, the code's really starting to come together for that and I'm feeling a lot better about it now by the end of the week. So let's see some of that in action. So I click destroy here and the fighter plane, as you can see here, launches off from my base. In in the finished version of the game, my thoughts are is that it will automatically launch a fighter from the nearest base that it can fly from. Because although transports, for game mechanics wise, will be able to fly all around the world and your personnel will take care of the logistics for you, 
uh, the fighter planes will have a limited reach that they can go to. If there weren't any fighters in range, I would not have the option to send an inter intercept. So we see here it will get one minute left. Boom. And we'll see here that uh, it's going to fire. And right here we can see that it fired a missile out. And that missile's going to come out. And boom, hit. Currently I'm not destroying it. I've been testing a lot of other code. But it's a piece of cake to destroy it. I also thought about making an explosion effect, but I thought that some of the code and mechanics right now are more importantly having a cool fireball. So that's on the way. And for right now you see it came, got in range, fired its missile, hit and destroyed. Now for the rest of this though, let's say we're just following it for now. So you can see the fire plane slows, tries to take um, a nice tailing distance, and continues to follow it here. We'll speed it up just a little bit. It's probably going to land in here somewhere in the islands. And then he is going to slow down and start circling it until it is able to take off again. So if you were trying to engage it and it landed instead of you being able to shoot it down, it would circle it to guard the site. Now if you see a fighter plane coming towards one of your ships, you can actually target that plane and send an intercept of your own to try and engage and shoot down that fighter before it gets to your transport. You can also send out an escort with your transports. See? Code? Super pain. <laughs> Super pain. As you can see, not all the bugs are worked out of this yet. But hopefully you can see <laughs> where I'm going with it and uh, the promise of this section. Hopefully at least enough so you can give some good feedback about what you think about these mechanics. And as I was saying before these no references decided to so rudely interrupt my explanation, you may send an escort out with your transports and then if they try to intercept and engage your transport, your escort will fight him before he is able to fight your transport. This uh, next week I will continue to refine this. I will also hopefully have finally finished down the design for the personnel page and have that done. And several other things I can work on such as AI. There will be some good things to see next week hopefully as well. And hopefully no null reference exceptions then. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.